What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be finally riding the mini chopper. Well, she's about 95% done. I just need to hook up that throttle cable right there and remove that old one. That one was barely long enough to reach to the carburetor 
and when you would turn a certain way it would actually throttle it so this one's a little too long it's hard to find these dirt bike carburetor or throttle cables in the right length but uh the seat's all done as you've seen uh, the only thing i don't like is how these two pieces of metal don't you know line up that really bugs me you can see that it drives me crazy chain is tension this time pretty darn good it'll stretch a little bit but uh i was trying to figure out a chain tensioner on this thing we'll have to address that later but uh, i want a chain tensioner like a mini bike has you know they got these little these little discs right there that go in between the nut and the shaft and then it has a little tab for this to slide in and then you tighten up that bolt and it pulls the rear wheel back also mess with this spring little tensioner but it's just too wide and everything and there wasn't enough room anywhere on the bike for it we're not going to have a front brake at first uh, i need to make a tab for the caliper because this is a rm125 rim and brake disc so a pit bike these mounts are made for a pit bike brake caliper the caliper would be eaten into the rotor actually it wouldn't even go on so i need to make new bracket that bolts to the caliper that kicks it you know out probably an inch so it, we can use this old disc but she's all nice and looking good uh, i'm going to put the muffler on it this time and make a tab you know so that black muffler i'd bought a long time ago will be on there so i'm going to finish getting it wired up and i just found out lonnie's off of work so that means we're going to go ride this thing let me tell you i'm about worn out tonight so i've really buckled down and started wiring everything on this bike uh, people wanted me to do a video on wiring this but let me tell you there's a crap ton of wiring to this isn't there lonnie yes we have been at this for what three four hours yeah and there's there's no way to really film this so what i need to do is get it all done and then maybe draw up a wiring diagram and show you how i did it this is the signal wires i got brackets coming in tomorrow uh, for my signal lights and headlight and these are my headlight high and low beam so i'm waiting to do something with these until that comes but everything's hooked up the, the horn, horn just needs to be grounded i need to ground it but the horns mounted out there i think it looks pretty sweet i got a relay right here this is a 40 amp relay and basically when you turn the switch on it kicks this relay on and that powers all the accessories and then uh, dre from ecw choppers the guy that originally told me how he did his chopper like this built us uh two of these voltage regulators so this will just regulate the voltage coming out of the cools I did do two charging coils on this engine and it also has an awesome bolt meter so when you kick it on it's not this is the only thing that's not wired up yet when you kick it on it'll read the bolts which, well uh, and the stuff that we don't have yet but yeah the signal wires uh, and that's about it springer seats all on and I made it so it kind of snaps but if you look under the springer seat so yeah, it's a house uh, house box electrical outlet box and I went and I had to buy a lawnmower key switch and I'll explain that in my wiring diagram video. But now, if you see, you know, it's all wired up. And when you turn the switch on, it kicks that relay on and everything's got power. I uh, can't show you because I have no headlights or anything in. But uh, it looks awesome. It and the wires sweet. are going to have wire loom. You won't be able to see them just hanging there. But Yeah, and this is just to test it right and see if everything, because you can see under here, they're just laying on the block. That's uh, that not good. good. <laughs> you know, I mean, the real heat's up here, but it's going to travel through the block. So uh, what I may do is try to figure out something on that. This whole thing, though, is starting to come together, and I think it looks sweet. Oh, yeah. It's hard to get it in the shot. Yeah, in the small there's garage. stuff everywhere. Yeah, look at this workbench. I mean, I got wiring crap everywhere. Wiring is like second nature to me, I guess, which is unfortunate. But... Um, so all this was easy. It just takes a long time to figure out, you know, how I want to wire everything. The battery, look at that fitment on the battery. I made this we engine got, plate. What, half inch clearance? Not even a quarter over here between this gas bung, the drain bung. <laughs> well, it's, it's loud. loud. <laughs> yeah, it's it's loud. Those are the uh, those horns people putting their grills on their on their cars. Pretty nice though. So everything's wired up but the voltage regulator. So basically it will not charge the battery the way it is, um, which is fine. I'll wire that up probably tonight, most likely. So basically it has this fuse uh, box right here and you can see we got room for maybe under glow, glow like people do on uh, choppers, but everything's fused. This is the signal, this is the headlight, and this is the horn. horn. Yeah, so we're all fused, everything's fused and ready to go. 
Uh, it's pretty sweet. It's coming along. But the chainsaw tension up the best I could get. I mean, it's pretty tight. It's going to stretch a little, but that's some pretty good chain uh, tension right there. And we're going to figure up a way to put a chain tensioner on it, but... I just don't have the patience for it right now. I'm uh, trying to finish all this. And there will be a lot of stuff that will get changed a little bit, like the wiring. I'm going to pull apart. After we ride this a little bit and we see that everything's good, I'm going to pull the wiring apart and go buy a little bit more of different color wires. I keep about 10 different colors and I need about 15. Tomorrow we could ride this thing. Yeah. Have yeah, well, it's ready to part two with the new engine. Yep. Yeah. I need to do two things. I need to hook up the brake cable, which is two seconds, and I need to hook up the throttle cable, which is two seconds. It's throttling the new throttle cable, which is long enough to reach back to the carb. It's actually too long, but it's hard to find a good size uh, carb cable. Uh, that just needs hooked up in the brake and it's already got oil in it. I need to basically add I'm going to take this whole hose off and I'm going to put probably uh, another one of these filters right up here somewhere and then put a kill, uh, a fuel shut off in line. In the seat, like I said, I made it so it that was on purpose making it snap down because it won't just fly up, which it wouldn't while you're riding it, of course. But Maiden Voyage Part 2 coming yeah. soon. True Maiden Voyage with electric start and all the goodies. Forks. We didn't have foot pegs on the last one. No, we didn't have nothing. Now we got, yeah, the, the new forks. Uh, we had those handlebars, I believe. Possibly. But, uh, yeah, I think so. This will be street legal uh, by tomorrow, only without a title. A little nervous, you know, I don't know why. A little nervous. Hurricane winds in there. I'm going to ride the hop. Should be. We don't want to idle yet. I need to adjust the car. That thing's comfortable. Yes. Like completely different than before. I like it. I can't wait to get it on the road. You need yeah. to adjust the carb and then I think we uh, take it for a little oh, yeah. spin down the road. So I'm gonna have to probably put a bigger jet. These come with a 95. I'm gonna put like a, what I'll do is I'll try that jet we're about to put in yours in the uh, go-kart alley build. She is awesome though. Electric start works good. I haven't hooked up the charging pools. So we might want to pull start it some so we don't run the battery dead, but I love the way that exhaust sounds. I think it sounds, everything's awesome with it. I'm telling you. It's nice. It, it's comfortable. Super oh, yeah. comfortable. Oh yeah. And it doesn't look, I think the, the little tire in the back looks pretty sweet with the big tire. And of course I'd love a motorcycle tire on it, but pretty awesome. See what the kickstand will do. See if it'll touch. Will it? Yeah. Good gravy. I didn't know. Going back. 
it oh gosh it needs to be white well you're on gravel and on the slope but it needs to be wider to really hold it up on concrete it might be okay but i still think the weight might shift make the bike oh this thing's awesome i love it we're going to adjust this carb out and we're going to take it down the road with some gopros ah oh, i'm pumped i am too okay so the headlight mounts are in the mailbox so lonnie's going to skedaddle up there and get them we still haven't messed with the carb yet we're about to though we pulled a, a jet out so let's go Full cool electric started. You have to turn the switch on either way to start it. Kind of push in on the key a little bit. Awesome. Climb. Yeah, she's a monster mud digger. Oh man, this thing. We're gonna hill climb the fool out of that thing. Yes. Look at the work or the uh, motorcycle lift. He hasn't murdered all the. Uh, everything's wired up, but the headlight and the signals and the horn needs a ground to it, and the horn would work. But this thing will be totally street legal. Only checking the mailbox to get her headlight clamps, put them mothers on, and, and we're, we're good to go. Yes. All right, so we got our headlight mounts. These things are beefy, but I had to cut a piece of silicone hose clamp to go in between. You can see it's on the pinch at an angle. But I think there's one from there. Yeah. So now we can uh, put the headlight on. It's already wired, so the headlight will be ready to go. Yeah, ready to go. Just like mini box, we didn't think we was going to care about the mini box as much until we went to texas and rode mini bikes this bike seems so much more i mean it feels like a real hey, you're riding an actual cruiser it's crazy how comfortable it is so now it's scouring through bolts again one of these years i'm gonna buy me a really nice bolt bin because look at all this look at it it's we'll preposterous it yeah it's nice. just well, you watch your mouth. You watch your dirty little mouth. All right. So these come with uh, TV mounting kits or plastic spacers to put in between the mount and the TV. And I, I used to wall mount a lot of TVs for people. And I kept these. And I'm glad I did. I use these things all the time. If you look under the switch on the bike, I used them to space it off the middle. It's pretty, pretty nice little things to have. Keep everything. He's a hoarder. Gets it from his mom. You watch your mouth. I'm always a saint. <laughs> a saint, you know. Look at these. Those might be perfect. All right, Tony. Hold it up. I bet these spaces are right here. Put those in your PP. Let me get a drill. Oh my gosh. Oh, good gosh. Chevy oh. total. It's a windy day here. Well, that's storm. We're getting the sloppy seconds from Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's edit that out. Yeah, we did. When you said it, I was thinking edit. <laughs> when you said it, I was thinking edit. You'll never know what he said. Ha! Should have been here. Sleep a little bit. Hit. Flip it around. Alright. <laughs> terrible. Just terrible. Now, is that the same size spacer? Yep. And once that tightens up, it should be okay. You think it should go out a little bit further so those aren't slanted in. No, they're slanted in from back there. Do I need washers on the inside? Probably. Probably. I tried to film as much as I could on wiring, which was none. Uh, <laughs> because it's just so much work. You can ask Lonnie how much I had to sit there and just wire, figure out. 
It was a nightmare, wasn't it? Yes. Diagram didn't even say the right colors that we had. The yeah, pliers. for the things that I bought, like these uh, these handle switches. Not right. Garbage. What it was. So we had to test every wire and see where everything went. And then uh, go from there. I think it's the next size up. Oh, can we hit the folder down there? Oh, yeah, those ain't hooked up yet. But, <laughs> turn the lights back on. Got the uh, high beam on. It's probably going to be sucky. It looks like it's just like a straight beam. And then that's low beam. And that's off. And then, yeah, horn's loud. People's going to hear you. That's for sure. So now it's uh, signal lights, which is just daisy chaining a couple of wires. We forgot to mention that Mac Racing Cart sent us these gloves and these helmets. He sent me red gloves, Lonnie blue gloves, and Lonnie a flat black helmet, and mine's gloss. Pretty sweet stuff. These helmets are nice. Yeah, it's awesome having street helmets now. We have yeah. off-road helmets we never wear, but now we can have street helmets we never wear. Uh, <laughs> Lonnie's going to take this down the road. The battery's still not charged on it, but he's going to do a top speed on this. And uh, see, it's probably not going to be amazing maybe i'm thinking 55 yeah. 60. so uh we'll see what he can do 60. you don't think 60? 50 to 55 is my guess okay i'm gonna say 55 to 60. All right. but all right start her up That motorcycle's pretty sweet, ain't it? Are you gonna ride it? My, doc, my bike's dirty. Your bike's dirty? Mm -hmm. Why don't you wash it? Can't. You can't wash it with a water hose? No. Why not? What? This is a future Redbeard's garage right here. Hello. Hello. Hello.
I'm I'm in love with this mini chopper. Yes, uh, I want to ride this thing everywhere. I yeah, go get uh, lunch with it here in a minute. Well, I went. I drove it to my mamaw's. She recently had a heart attack, so I went and seen her and rode this there. And one problem we're having out of that Makuni is randomly the float bowl or the float will stick and it'll start pouring gas and flood the bike out. Yeah. I think that was just a, a fluke that it had, but we're going to do some testing. And it isn't opening up like I think it should. Yeah, the top speed should be a lot better. It should Well, it should be what it is. But it should climb to that top speed faster, I yeah. believe. If it's um, up a hill, it falls on its face, I feel like. And if it's not downhill, it kind of does too. Yeah. And it took me a while to climb to 55 going downhill. So yeah. there's something. It shouldn't be that way. No, and we are going to put a Mod 2 cam in it, a more aggressive cam, and a billet rod. But we can't do a billet flywheel because it is electric star. And they make an electric start flywheel but it does not have the magnets for the charging cools so that would be so pointless Jesus. yeah so i think adjust that carb out and put a new cam in it and the carb we can do now i'm not messing with the camera right now that motor's a pain to get and, off and uh probably bigger jets right the yeah, a hair yeah a hair bit bigger jet than that Makuni. we're running they come stock with a 95 we're running a 110 in it i'm going to go up to a 115 and then even try 120 to see the difference but that's what it almost feels like. It feels like it isn't getting enough uh, fuel to, and it's the carbs opening all the way. It just feels like it should climb way faster, but it is fun and it doesn't feel slow at all when no. you're riding it. And um, it feels comfortable with the with this Springer seat and those shocks. Oh yeah. And now we have foot pegs, of course, last video we had on it. <laughs> We're balancing our, our legs dangling, but. It feels perfect, really. It, it feels if honestly. If a little bit more power, it'd be the ultimate little yeah bike. and this would be the ultimate starter bike for like a 14 year old wanting to start riding a bike build something like this it's cheap kind of cheap i kind of went all out on mine but uh it's awesome and uh cheaper also motorcycle though. oh yeah a lot cheaper and also these helmets are pretty sweet the, the whole chin lifts up it's got the visor inside if you're going into the sun it is really nice really nice addition for our mini chopper so uh, shout out to Mac Racing Carts because these things came in clutch. They are really nice. I love that matte black look. Uh, but we're going to put some stickers on Lonnie's helmet as well. And also he sent us this phone holder, which is freaking sweet. I have one of these on the mini box, but this one has a uh, charger built in. It has a USB, I think, over here. And you can flip it on right there and charge your phone. So I'm going to get a little six inch charging cable for my cell phone. And we'll be set up for hog rides. Heck yeah. And that's your speedometer. Yeah, yeah, and I, I can put my phone in it every time for a speedometer. Don't have to worry about dying because it can charge. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, mini chopper is 95% done, and it's awesome. We've been riding it the last two days everywhere. Yeah. We, we want a drink, we jump on the mini chopper. <laughs> yeah, I've been riding it. I find excuses to ride this thing. I've put probably... 10 miles on it myself. I wish you guys could feel just how comfortable this is with this seat and these pegs. They're perfectly placed. It's just, it's awesome. And we was worried about the pegs being so high up. Once we put that bigger front tire on it, it kicked the pegs up a lot, but it's awesome. It's, it's perfect. We were talking about moving it down, but that was before we wrote it. it yeah. They ain't going nowhere. So. Yeah, they're awesome. Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Help support our channel with some merch by going to RBGCarts.com. We have shirts, stickers, and hats, and we're adding new designs all the time. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.